All right, welcome back everyone to episode, oh, I want to say, I think 20, right? Yeah, we're on episode 20 now, and we are about to go fight Gollum. So, Gollum is actually, okay, I never thought I would say this, but Gollum is a boss I'm actually kind of afraid of. So, in normally, Gollum isn't too bad. Gollum's quite easy, almost even like a joke boss. Uh, but in Calamity, I know for a fact that Death Mode Gollum is actually something to be reckoned with, and I'm kind of scared of failing this, so... I'll do my best, but <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I need to actually quickly teleport. In fact, there might be a temple teleportation potion. I'm gonna double check. Yeah, temple teleportation. Oh, oh, I forgot. This just gets you, like, right in here. Nice. Okay, so that saved us some time. And some exploration, although we're still going to be exploring everything. Just because we need to get... Ow. Really? How did I trip that, dude? Um, as I was saying, just because we actually need to get the spawning items and everything, because I doubt I'm doing this first try, there should be one in that chest over there. But, in fact, I think there's it's a guaranteed drop, right? Before we go on, I just want to thank you all for the support on this series. It has been unreal. Ow! So, once again, thank you so much for leaving, like, likes and everything, and, uh, just supporting the series in general. Be sure to subscribe if you guys are enjoying it, and, uh, want to keep up with this series. Because I'm having a ton of fun playing, and I'm glad you guys are enjoying watching this series as well. Also, I'm hoping that this is episode two of this week, and there should be a third one coming out this weekend. So <laughs> we'll see, though. I don't, I don't want to make any more promises because I always say this during the recording because it should make out to be that way. But then I don't get around to editing and uploading until later on in the week, and then it's like one episode a week, which really sucks. But yeah, I'm doing my best. Hopefully, this is pretty soon after the last episode, like a few days. We'll see. We shall see. So let's do that. So far, it looks like a 100% chance and everything, but I am an idiot, dude. Oh my god, what is- how? No, no, no. Okay, okay, um... I'll, I'll be back. Oh, I'm an idiot. What am I doing? Oh, okay. <laughs> so we can actually make Miracle Fruit now. Um, Altix actually reminded me of that. I knew- I said in the last episode, I said, um, we can get the next upgrade soon. There's something like that, either now or later, or like coming up. We need actual bars though. So we can mine that now, I believe. So we're going to try. All right, so we are here. Yeah, now we can actually get the actual ore. So we, which means we can get the, uh... oh, that, that works quite well actually. We can get the upgrade. I don't think we're getting the armor, although we might. I need to check. I don't actually remember how much better it is, if even at all. I'm pretty sure it is, but I just need to actually weigh the benefits and everything like that before I decide to get it. Because it's a lot of ore to be spending. So we're going to put that in there. Good. Now, astral bars. Cool. We need stardust. Dang it. Oh, we have stardust. That's fine. We got it from the boss. Nice. That's helpful. Okay, 44 bars. We have a ton of bars, dude. Oh, also, I forgot to mention this. In fact, I didn't even see it. But we did get the Nebulash. So that was a, uh, a drop from Ashram Deus, right? So it's pretty good, as you can see. <laughs> Although, again, I don't know how good it is anymore. I know it was really viable before. I have no idea how good it is now. So we'll have to see. But... We will probably test it out on Gollum, actually, and yeah, so that's a weapon we got. I forgot to go over that. Sorry about that, guys. I noticed everything but the one weapon that was actually useful to us, because we are playing melee. Um, some people, I some people actually don't know about that, <laughs> but we're playing. A, we're doing a melee playthrough. Oh yeah, we were gonna get the miracle fruit. Miracle. Nope, we do not have everything. Oh, we need more stardust and life fruit, right? Okay. Well, we can make life fruit. And then we need... Ah, oh, dang it. They're doing me dirty. They're doing me real dirty. Because we need five of those. That means we need to fight Plantera again. Which shouldn't be an issue. Alright, well, I'm actually going to go ahead and get everything that we need for the Miracle Fruit upgrade. Because it's pretty simple. Everything's right here. Stardust, that's easy to farm out. We have the life fruit we just crafted. Living Shards, we get that from Plantera, which I'll fight really soon. And Astral Bars, we already have. So I'll be right back with the Miracle Fruit. Plantera is now dead. We got 
quite a few living shards, the bulky seedler. I think we already got this, but I don't remember. Actually, no, maybe we didn't. All right, that's good. We got 22. That should be perfect. So we stick it in there, and now miracle fruit. Boom. We got everything. Get that. Oh, got to exit that first. There we go. 740. We only got 30, 35 health. 35 health. You know what? That goes a long way. We might be able to survive another hit because of that. Maybe not, but, you know, the more the more health, the better. Uh, yeah. Back to what we were doing earlier, which is the golem fight. We should be able to get back real quick with a zerg and a temple teleportation potion. Okay, I'm just going to run along the bottom, make sure there's no traps left over. We are looking good. You know, a platform would be nice, and I don't like how this arena looks. Not one bit. <laughs> this is not going to go well. Maybe we could just try it. We don't even have rage. This is not going to work. All right, so Gollum is pretty pathetic still, at least at the start of the fight. So we can kind of just wait it out. And I'm thinking we can just burst it down with rage and adrenaline like we did in our guide. But, see, I don't know if that's going to work. And the reason why I say that is because things can change. We might not have enough damage output. And if you get stuck at the last phase... With, like, Gollum few K health left, really low health, it is insane. Like, you'll get obliterated, and it's not fun. It is not. So, I don't want to get stuck like that. You kind of want to wait as long as possible to use that. But, of course, now adrenaline and all that doesn't do as much. I don't know, actually, the numbers on that, how much it decreases by and how quickly. I don't know how much per second, but... You know what? Let's just try it. Also, it might be glitched here. It might get stuck in the wall, although I think this is enough space for just gonna, you know, be fine and free, but <laughs> we'll try it out. Here we go. Okay, no, that's not stuck. That's not a stuck golem, right? Wait. Wait. This is death mode, right? This does not seem like a... Wait. Okay. Wait. This does not seem like death mode. Okay. Maybe it's just the same old pathetic golem. Actually, no, it is, because we can't hit the fist. No, this is death. We're good. We're good. We're good. And we got adrenaline. Actually, I want to try this out. I want to try this out. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's like 2k. What is this doing? About the same, but we don't have to get as close. I think it's doing a little bit less, actually. Oh god, we're about to die. Please don't die. No. Things are just ramping up. They're just getting started. This is nothing. Maybe we can use both at the same time. Hopefully I don't get hit. I have to do it now. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, well, I guess we don't even get to use both. I think we could have almost done it. I don't think 60k is, like, low enough. So, Nebulash, not exactly the best. Also, I'm going to get some platforms. Because that's going to help a lot. <laughs> I think. Maybe not. I don't know. That Can the Golem go through platforms? I don't think so. What else if we do that? And then just Nebulash through the wall. And then its projectiles get stuck up top. Okay, we got we got a big brain play right here. We got a big brain play, although it could it could just not work, and in which case we're just stupid, but... Well, I'm just stupid. I shouldn't lump you guys in with my stupidity. So, yeah, I'll... Yeah. I mean, it's probably the latter. I'm probably just being stupid here, but we might want to try it anyways. Well, I definitely do want to try it. Okay, so... <laughs> this is probably not going to work. This is definitely not going to work, and I know it. I'm being naive. It's fine, though, boys. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right, so I'm going to get Rage, and then we'll see how much I get my butt kicked when I fail this uh, strategy that probably will not work, although it could. Okay, so Daniel the Robot, thank you very much. Someone else said this, I think, earlier, but um, the brew actually sells a potion that refills Rage. So I'm going to actually do that. Thank you for these all those. I know, you, I know um, other people are also telling me about this before. I just totally forgot about it, but I did remember now, so that's good at least. Fills Rage Meter, Potion of Darkness. What is the heartache debuff? You're not used... Oh. Okay, so it's just four minutes of... Okay, cool. That's cool. Alright, so we can actually get rage easily that way, which is nice. I, I don't mind that it's not a calamity buff potion, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that, dude. 
I'm completely fine with that, not having to like get punched by slime or something for 20 minutes. Uh, yeah, just get, it doesn't actually take that long. I'm exaggerating quite a bit there, but here's the big brain play. Here's what we do. In fact, I shouldn't have used platforms. I'm stupid. Because no, yeah, we need solid blocks. Without solid blocks, we're just going to get massacred, and it's not going to be good. So the only thing this is doing is keeping the golem's hitbox away from us, and it's keeping that fireball up there. That's all it's doing. Because if you think about it, the laser can still hit us. The golem's fists. We're still going to get fisted, boys. There's no way around that, okay? We're, we're getting fisted, all right? So, um, <laughs> so yeah. I don't think this is actually going to help that much. It should keep the golem up there, but I don't think it's actually that viable or anything. It only gets rid of, like, one projectile, and then we have less space to maneuver around. But you never know. It could work. could help us out. We'll see. That's why I'm testing this out. Okay, so we got some mud blocks. We can just go like this. Okay, you can you can just leave. Thank you. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Not what I wanted to do. Now we just got to build all the way over. Now that I'm looking at it, it's not giving us much room to move around, so this could be problematic. Oh, wait, I have to spawn the boss in. Wait, can I reach it from here? Wait. Wait, wait. Oh, I can't. I totally can. Yo, okay, watch this. Hey, check check this out. Ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah, and then we have to use the Nebulash, right? Yeah, because I'm going to have to deal with the other projectiles. <laughs> this, this makes it a little bit easier. I'm just going to stand over here. And then... Oh, if I get hit, it's going to be sad. It's going to be real sad. Okay. Okay, we're good. Okay, this is good. This is good. Ow. No, the lasers. <laughs> the lasers. Dude, see, this is why Golub's actually insane, and I don't like it. I don't like an insane Golub. No. It's something to be feared. And it's not okay. W where's the old Golub, dude? <laughs> I miss him. He's changed, boys. Oh, God. See, look at that. That big old head is just not... Not on my side. No, wait, why? Oh, oh, the, the head's underneath us. Oh my god, the fireball. No! I really messed that up, dude. I really messed that up. I, <laughs> my luck is terrible, dude. I'm so bad. Whenever I use rage, the second I pop that rage off, some projectile, it doesn't matter what I'm fighting, I could be fighting a slime, okay? And I'll use my rage, and that slime will, like, hit me the second I use it. I'm so bad at timing that. Oh, it's so annoying. See, I think we could have had a chance if I didn't screw that up so bad. And the thing is, like, maybe I could just sit there and tank a bunch of hits at the end? And as long as I can get the damage in? Yeah, we have the cross necklace, so we could get, like, um... We should probably get the Dafik amulet. That's something we need. But then we need a Starveil. Oh! Oh, we just got a Titan Glove. Nice. Okay, this is really good. So we just killed a Mimic down there. So, that means if we get a boss loot swapping token from Nort. Hello, Nort. I'm surprised Nort is still alive. We've had Nort with us for a long time. Usually my NPCs, NPCs die uh, very, very quickly. So, this is, a, this is like a record for Goblin Tinkerer uh, lives being not really saved, but preserved, I guess is the right word. So, now what are we doing? Starcloak, right? Yeah. All right, make the star cloak, and then from there, the star veil makes the the daphic amulet. Not daphic; it's more like a. Oh God. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna quickly make the daphic amulet. Is that day? Yeah, I think that's daphic. Maybe not. I don't know. I can't. I can't English, so I'm still working on that. So we're gonna try. We're gonna try and get this, and I'll see you guys when I'm done. A meteorite has landed. Hey, thank you, game. But where? But where? Okay, okay. I've had, I've had it. Where's this meteorite? 
Where is it? This has been far too long to go without finding one. Hello? I swear to God, if it's up on some stupid... No way. No way it spawned over here. Oh, maybe it's in the ocean. Oh my god. What are the ch Okay. Um Well, I guess the uh, astral meteor biome was feeling a little bit lonely, so the a, a new regular one decided to come and hang out. So, yeah. That's a thing. <laughs> what are the chances of that? What are, what are the chances of that? Like right beside each other. Right beside each other. As close as you could get. This thing spawned. My god. I'm just happy it wasn't on a sky island that I haven't been to. Because that's always annoying. But we got 435. So. That should be enough to get the bars. And for those wondering, I'm probably leaving that in. Because that is pretty weird. Uh, we should have everything else, I think. That's not how you spell meteor. There we go. That's how you do it. Nice. And then we can also make more blocks, so we should get building sometime soon. Maybe next episode, maybe a couple after that. I don't know. We need to build more. So, meteorite. Meteorite. What am I... Th oh, yes. The Dayfic amulet is right there. And we're going to get a couple of reforges. One on the Nebulash. Nort, my favorite man on this whole world. Okay. I'm feeling lucky, boys. Please don't make me use... Every I don't, I don't want to farm. Okay, we'll take it. We'll take it. Can we get lucky here? What, what do we want? Like, uh, menacing? Well, pff, screw it, we're taking it. We gotta take it. We gotta take it. We have to. Um, air, we don't need the arrow stone for this fight. M maneuverability isn't the, as important, I would say. Um, yeah, I don't think we need it. Because we're literally just sitting in a box and we just got to dodge a couple projectiles. I mean, it probably will help, but I'll see. We'll see. We can always switch it out for the Siren's Heart or something, but I do want to keep that survivability. I'm thinking of, like, just tanking with the adrenaline for the last little bit and seeing how we do from there. There's a good chance that we can do this. But also a pretty good chance that we can fail this again for the third time. Uh, like that... Alright, we already have our buffs and everything, so we can just kill... Oh, do I have a Zerg? No. Just gonna do that and kill these guys right now. Because cause Calamity, like, auto-puts on a Zerg, I've been told. So, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let you do your thing there. And I'm gonna wait here and get my Adrenaline, if you don't mind. Because that is something I really do want. And next time it jumps, it probably... Actually, no, we're good. Oh, yeah. Adrenaline's not going to do, like, anything now. I should have been hitting it. Because it's not that hard to dodge. Oh, maybe. Maybe it is. You know what? Maybe it is hard to dodge. <laughs> maybe it is. All right. Okay. You stupid golem. Oh, I forgot to use this. Okay. I guess we can use it during the fu Oh, yeah. There's a cooldown, though. Oh, but that means we could... I won't use it during fights. I won't do that. I feel like that's cheap. That's cheap to use rage during fights. Like, to use the potion that gives you rage. I don't think that's a good idea. I think we can get adrenaline again. Actually, no, we can't. What am I doing? Because Golem's insane. Golem's actually insane. I forgot. I just... I just butchered the fight. Oh, no. Golem. Golem. You dirty dog. You dirty dog, you. Okay, I should probably use it now before I get... Killed. Oh, no. Wait, no, we're fine. We're fine. What is that? What is that, Gollum? I thought you I thought you had more to give me there. Grenade shells? What? I've never seen that before. Okay, I thought... <laughs> I was kind of, like, overhyping that. That was not bad at all. I don't... <laughs> we got picks off first try. I'm happy with that. I'll take it. Also, this was a drop from the actual meteor... Oops. Actual meteor biome. Uh, just for anyone wondering. That are curious. And I can't speak, because... I don't know how we did that. But we did. I mean, it's the Golem fight. Okay, that was still... Okay, I'm not going to say pathetic. But that wasn't as... It wasn't as extremely difficult. Although it's not supposed to be. So that's fine. That's okay. You know what? That's all good. <laughs> so we did that. That's a thing. Golem's dead. Goodbye, Golem. I don't want to see your face anywhere near my Terraria world ever again. Okay? 
ever again. All right, cool. We got some things. Uh, the Deific Amulet definitely did help us out there. And I don't know. Arrowstone's really nice, though, so I might want to switch those two or something. I have no idea. We'll see. Who's next? Plague... Oh, oh, no, no can do. Okay. Um... Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that one. Okay, so I think that we're gonna leave it there. That was a pretty short episode That was a pretty short episode, but I think we're gonna leave it there because I want to leave as much time to prepare for Plaguebringer on its own because it deserves a whole episode because Plaguebringer is one hell of a boss I'll tell you that much. Plaguebringer is actually one of my favorite boss fights and I really love the theme too So it's definitely one of my favorite bosses in this game uh, in the mod, and it's, it's difficult, it's very difficult, so, yeah, Plaguebringer, Duke Fishron, Ravager, three actually very difficult bosses, Ravager wasn't so difficult before, but now it's, it's a tough one, it's definitely a tough boss fight, and also, since we got the Pixar, we can actually get the Ataxia set, we'll, we'll probably do that next episode, yeah, we'll do that next episode. Alright, so with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you are new and would like to see more of this Calamity Mod content. Don't forget to download the mod. Both links to like the Calamity Mod with and without the music will be down in the description. Remember to download both. Also, go ahead and join the Calamity Mod Discord. There will be a link to the wiki and then you can just quickly get to the Discord from there. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.